I'm still working on that. Okay, so what do Batman, these glasses, and me have in common? Have you guessed it yet? Yes, we are all made of atoms. Okay, so we talked a little bit about atoms last time and hopefully you did that uh, Adam's family reading about the family members, also the particles of an atom. Um, so there's three main parts of an atom or three subatomic particles. Go ahead and say that with me, get used to it. Ready? Subatomic particles. So here we have a carbon atom and it shows you the three particles and it shows you kind of what an atom looks like. It's not exact, but it's basically if we kind of froze a 2D atom, this is what it would look like. It's called a Bohr model. So we have three different main parts. The first one we're gonna start with is a proton. Protons are positive. Yes, you're gonna say that with me too, ready? Protons are positive. Um, I emphasize the P so you can remember that. Um, they are also located in the nucleus, so in the center of the atom. And then next we have, also in the nucleus, our neutrons. Neutrons are neutral in the nucleus. Yes, you're saying that with me too. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Neutrons are neutral in the nucleus. Very good. All right, and our last particle um, has, is very small and it is negative. So yes, uh, it is on the outside, so outside of the nucleus, or we also call that an electron cloud. So those are pretty small, like I said, almost no mass, but it exists, so it does have a little bit, but it doesn't add to the mass of the atom. Only the protons and neutrons add to the mass. So electrons are negative in the electron cloud. That one isn't as fancy, I know. But go ahead and say it with me. Electrons are negative in the electron cloud. Good job. So now you know the three parts of an atom. Thanks for watching. Next time, I'm gonna give you a pop quiz. So I hope you get ready.